vibe check. Mercury, the planet of communication, intellect, and commerce, changes signs into Aries, giving us a much needed vibe shift. So yeah, we needed some fire up in the heavens, didn't we? It's been a lot of Saturn. It's been a lot of dampness. It's been a lot of Aquarius, which is just like objective planning and masterminding. But we need some fire, folks. So yeah, Mercury is here in Aries. It's going to be hanging out here for a long time because we're going to have a, you guessed it, Mercury retrograde. So Mercury is actually going to be retrograde from April 1st through April 25th. And it's going to range from 27 degrees Aries back to 15 degrees Aries, stationing direct with that north node in Aries. And you guessed it, we're in eclipse season. So there's a, a lot. I mean, those nodes are active, potent points of portals and gateways. And there's going to be some funky stuff happening, I think, with social media, particularly during that time. But this is when people are going to be popping off. Like, and, you know, the Aries is, is a hot zone for us right now, as this is where eclipses are happening. There's an invitation with that North Node in Aries to really connect with this energy in a different way. So we're renegotiating our connection with impulse, um, being proactive, seizing the moment, um, being like unfiltered, honest, and just kind of like gutsy. So what is Mercury in Aries going to do? Mercury in Aries is impulsive, outspoken. It's got daggers on the tongue. It's abrupt, it's fierce, it's not afraid to tell people off, to shut people down, but it's inflaming and it can be spicy and antagonizing. This is when call-outs happen. This is when people just have like no patience and they're not sitting and thinking about it before they type. They're just like a keyboard warrior right now. Um, but this can be really excellent energy for getting something off your chest um, if like you're someone who's perpetually nice or someone who doesn't speak up very often or someone who doesn't um, put yourself out there as, as much like someone who's like more humble has, or shy or has a harder time doing that, this is going to help you a lot. This is going to help you be more forward and more outspoken. So yeah, wherever your Aries house is, it's an action point for all these eclipses. This Mercury transit is going to take us into eclipse season, like I said. Um, so yeah, there's a great deal of events happening here in our Aries house. Things are accelerating. There's cosmic course corrections that are taking place. We're going to have a huge eclipse at 19 degrees Aries on the 8th of April. So Mercury is kind of getting in there and gearing up for this. All right. Um, it's going to go over that eclipse degree three times. So there's a lot of inflammation going on here. Mercury is like antagonizing this point and this area in our chart and in our life where there's a great deal of change taking place. So Mercury is going to help us reevaluate kind of a little bit more consciously. There's with Mercury, there's a chance to reconfigure some things with eclipses. It's like. It's just happened and now you have to respond to it. The eclipses kind of bring things out of left field. They can be disruptive. They can help us. It can also, they can also be a huge pain in the ass. They can also be like really stressful. So Mercury is here to help us kind of like figure out how to respond. <laughs> um, so note which planets Mercury retrograde is aspecting between 15 degrees Aries and 27 degrees Aries. And that might be um, a point that is really important for you. If you have anything at 19 degrees Aries, especially, that's not only going to get a lot of action from Mercury, but also the eclipse. So keep those eclipse orbs really tight, like from 21 to 17. Um, that's going to be it. Mercury is also going to retrograde over Aries. Now, I've been paying attention to Eris for a while, a long while, um, but I'm especially interested in her right now because we had an eclipse on Eris on the 14th of October, and Eris is the goddess of discord and is known for starting the Trojan War. 
about a week before that, um, we had Hamas attack Israel, basically. And that began what's happening now, where there's this like excessive retaliation going on. And yeah, it's been it's been chaotic and stressful for a lot of people and devastating, um, catastrophic, heartbreaking for for many people, too. So, yeah, I'm interested what this is going to do. Mercury retrograde over Eris during eclipse season, because also what happened during that time was the name of Twitter was changed to X. And a lot of people just were like, I'm leaving. And I see Eris connected with social media a lot. So there's going to be like this theme, I think, of what's going on in the Middle East right now, what's going on in Israel, Palestine, Gaza, what is what's going on over there. I think Mercury retrograde is going to have a lot to say about that. Um, and also just this topic of of warring in general with Eris being activated and What's happening in our, in our social media spaces? So yeah, I almost wonder, I almost wonder if there's going to be some sort of pressure to resolve or some sort of like, I'm not really sure because what we're also going to see is Mercury moving over Chiron three different times. So there's a bunch of Chiron activations kind of coming in here as planets start to move into Aries. So Chiron is a voice of healing. So that can also put on like some pressure to resolve something. So even though Mercury is in confrontational and confronting and inflammatory Aries, it can actually like clear the path and clear the way and make room for deeper, more profound healing. Um, even if it, even if it hurts at first, it's like, it's worth it perhaps in the end because Chiron has to do with um, acknowledging the wounds and moving to heal it. We have to name it to tame it is what I talk about with my toddler. <laughs> we have to name the emotion in order to get beyond it. So I, I think about Mercury retrograde with Chiron as name it to tame it. There's a theme about um, courage and bravery in our healing journey and the importance of authenticity and individuality as well as sovereignty. There's an, a, a tremendous importance of addressing issues versus sweeping them under the rug. Because we all know that if you sweep things under the rug for too long, I mean, with little stuff, it's good. It's fine to do that, I think. Like the Libra in me is like, yeah, we can let the little things go. But if you do that with big things for too long, it, it can get very ugly. And so, yeah, I think that that's going to be part of what's coming up for a lot of people with this Chiron and Aries being activated. Um, and Chiron being actually pretty close to that eclipse degree, too. Um, so, yeah, I think that we're going to be working with that. Like, how do we find the healing? How do we find the path forward? Is there a way to have dialogue um, and still and and whether that's healing for me as an individual to express myself or whether that can be healing for us in order to just like have um, have dialogue and be honest with one another. Is there a way that we can still um, move to resolve together? Maybe not. I mean, that's part of what the Aries Libra axis is highlighting here is, you know, this tension between keeping the peace, keeping harmony and also like Aries, just like being real. And is there a way to have both? Um, yeah, there is. But it what sometimes there's a cost to that, though. So yeah, this is a moment of checking in for each of us individually in where we stand on that axis with different issues. Are we able to? Are we able to speak our mind and and shoulder the consequences of that? That's kind of like a Mercury and Aries thing. So yeah, that's going to be a significant theme that we're going to be working with while Mercury is in Aries through May 15th, 2024. So we'll be talking more about Mercury and Aries in the coming months, but for right now, that's your little preview. And that was your astrology shot of the day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. For more astrology in your world, you can connect with me on all platforms at Astro Catherine. You can also study astrology with me. 
The Foundations of Astrology course is an 11-week mentorship. It begins on January 25th. You can visit my website for more details, where you can also book your year ahead astrology reading with me, where we'll get into your personal natal chart, transits, progressions, perfections, and the solar return. I look forward to connecting with you. Till next time. Bye.